what a display. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. I'm so excited. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. Three daily vlogs. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. <laughs> Eve is so mad that there's this delicious, all this delicious food by her bed. Don't mind the the, the, <laughs> the bins there. I put them up so Eve could lay with us because we're gonna have a relaxing morning and watching movies in our room and so she could have access to the window ledge. <laughs> but here is the little breakfast in bed I made for Sarah per her request. Thank you. So this is the, the creme de la creme. Mm -hmm. I will not disclose how we acquire little spoons from restaurants like this. They're essential to replicate the same brown sugar dishes Sarah makes when we do Disney buffets. It's so delicious. Here's my plate um, on top of our Port Orleans Riverside bench. I have pumpkin spice waffles and Sarah had dark chocolate chip vegan waffles. How is it? Oh, so yummy. Want some brown sugar? Oh, I should probably, yeah. Oh, that was, that was tasty. <laughs> so good. We simple but good. Simple but good. Those are like my two go-tos with breakfast. Waffles and hash browns. We definitely ate way too much of the hash browns. We got the one bag from Whole Foods yesterday. I made all of it. So we split the bag 50-50. That's the best part. So we're gonna watch some movies for not in the during right now for a little while. Just stay in our bed, relax. I'm gonna edit the vlog or most of it. Then I'm gonna pass it off to Sarah to do like the fancy things in Adobe Premiere. Um, but Just Eve's still a little upset about the food because we still have a bowl of fruit out. But it's a good start to our Mother's Day. We switched over to one of our favorite movies, Mamma Mia. I had to show you the tough life this girl lives. Best credits of any movie ever. But we're just switching the movie. Sarah's calling one of her aunts back that she missed her call earlier. Sarah requested something very special for movie next. Peter, why are you in the closet? Wait, 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 wait. Sneak, sneak. This right here. Peter Rambles podcast coming soon. Very very soon. Sarah and I were talking like, I should be recording like right now during uh, the pandemic. I should be recording like a bunch, a bunch of um, episodes. But this right here, you can see it's good old Saint Nick and some of his furry friends. Um, I'm going to get this down because Sarah requested a Christmas movie next. So, I miss snow. I do. Like, Did I steal this from the Disney store? To my yes. Am I going to put it on the DVD it until yesterday. Sarah's off the phone? So yes. She, um, oh, yeah, look at this vintage Disney Let It Snow. Sing along in the store? Does anybody remember seeing this in 2013? And she thought this was going to be a relaxing play. <laughs> She doesn't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Smack him. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> I got coffee breath, you got morning breath. I warn you, you're about to see one of the most despicable things that you could ever imagine on the Brickard Project vlog. We don't save leftovers, we eat until our stomachs are about to bust. And Sarah, one, kept leftovers yesterday from Market on South. But of all the things to save for a later date, she saved a chili, a vegan, a fake hot dog. Hot dogs are fake to begin with, but a fake, fake hot dog, a vegan hot dog, vegan chili hot dog in the bun and she wants me to go microwave it so she can finish eating it. I eat it with a fork and a knife anyways because it's a messy sloppy dog. And now you have to do it because it's all congealed into one ball of slop. I do. Oh my, it looks even worse than I even imagined. Oh gosh. As the day turns to night, we put, set our eyes on dinner.
Yes. Looking mellow mushroom. Yeah, mellow mushroom for some pizza, maybe. Look what arrived. This is the cage. Did I break it? No, this is how it transports, see? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so see how it's a nice... It's big. Look at the nice. So this is going to be perfect for country thunder and going to the beach. Yes. And the park. And then that bed makes it comfy. Yeah, it keeps going in there. These are going in there. For sure. Alright, we got it. There was just the two legs on this, this side. This is what we thought was at the P.O. Box yesterday, but it came to our house. Because yes. it's from our friends Kayla and Karen. Thank you so much. Alright, I'm going to go to food. I'm going to play with this more later. Or while I'm gone. Because there's toys that we can hang in there too. That we got fun. Oh, they're right here. Oh, this is probably... Yeah, they hang on it. That in those directions. Here we go, picking up some mellow, mellow mushroom. Delicious. All right, well, first of all, here's the hoagie, the tempeh hoagie that we got. It's like a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. And there's the, oh, it's huge. <laughs> Between that and the sandwich, we are going to be stuffed. And I'm eating all of mine. I went to two different stores looking we for a jar of double sauce. I don't know if you said double sauce on the phone. Oh. Because I was like, is that too much with the tomatoes? But did you, did you hear what I said? I went to go look for Jardinera, two different stores. Two different stores. Nothing. I found oiled. This smells good though, pepperoncinis. Yeah, looking good. So you just tried the, like the tempeh, Philly cheeses looking sandwich thing. So Mellow Mushroom, I think is, a, is other places besides Florida. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. She was hungry, she, Sarah was getting real hungry before. Yeah, I was getting like, to the not hungry point. Oh no. What is on this? I'm, I'm about to, I didn't realize this was gonna be this kind of a feast of a night. Yes. Okay, that was delicious. I couldn't eat the whole um, sandwich because it was like a little weird consistency wise because it, it more so did fall apart like a um, Philly cheesesteak, but really, really good flavor. And the pizza was really good. It used follow your heart vegan cheese instead of Daya which a lot of um, restaurants use that as their alternative, and that's the one that we don't like. Um, and the Follow Your Heart was really, really good, and so we'll definitely get pizza from there again. Probably the sandwich too, but like we have plenty left over. Um, super good. Peter's reading. I decided that I need to prioritize reading again in my life. Yeah. So. I'm finishing Dead to Me, and then maybe I'll read. I'm reading, I'm picking up where I was on Bobby Iger's book. Yeah. 18 pages in. I'm on the last episode of Dead to Me. Holy smokes. Have you watched this show? Because I've watched this show. <laughs> Peter's only seen, like, I literally had to, like, give Phil him in on all the but details. I tell you, that is an addition to Swan and Dolphin. I saw this hours ago. Oh, we've Cold been the pondering the cove. Swan and Dolphin and Cove. Oh, there's a new resort that's going to be... Okay, so... It's considered an expansion. So, like, we've always... We've been seeing the this construction happening between Epcot and Hollywood Studios, and we kept on being like, what is that? It's not the Star Wars Hotel. They haven't announced anything. It's really close to Swan and Dolphin, but, like, is it an office? And then, like, today we... Or, no, that was yesterday. I'm assuming because it's not technically Disney, they can do the construction. Um, it got big and we're like it can't just be an office and so Peter found that out okay so new hotel hopefully it has some good restaurants or something um, but anywho dead to me is not for the faint of heart um, there's so many topics that are like really intense um, I did not expect there to be such a cliffhanger that's like the only spoiler alert I'll give is that there's clearly going to be another season. Um, I love that show and I know exactly why and it's because every episode I'm shocked and I don't, I feel like how did I not see that coming or like how is that another crazy thing? I just want it, I told Peter I was like I just want it to be over because like I just want like peace for these people but really good show. 
All right, let us know down below if you watch the Disney's fa ABC Family Sing Along Express thing, whatever it was called. We're going to watch some of the snippets on the ABC app. Um, since I don't think we don't have, like, we only do the ABC app, and I don't see the whole thing in its entirety posted, but they've got a couple of the different songs broken out on the app already. So maybe tomorrow or the next day they'll have it on, but we're going to watch a couple of the songs here before bed. We should really be going to bed. Are we talking about my Mother's Day gift? We should talk about it quickly, but then we'll show it when it comes in the mail, because it's not here. Yeah, okay, we'll talk about it in the sign-off. But we're watching a quick funny clip from, yeah. this wasn't even super long ago, wasn't it? Or was it last trip uh, or two trips ago of the Air Hearts? It was June of last year. Oh, here comes Kieran. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going on the slide. I'm going on the slide. This is the trip with the Air Hearts where I go down the clown slide with Kaylee sitting on my lap. Totally against the rules. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I missed the air hearts. Kaylee, what are we about to do? Oh, breaking the rules. We're gonna go down the slide. You and me. Me and you. Daddy's gonna be at the bottom waiting for us. We, we kinda got in trouble. We weren't supposed to go on it together. <laughs> All right, it's one in the morning, so I suppose we should go to bed. We're also continuing to watch more of the Earhart May June 2019 trip. What's today's date? What's oh, today's Mother's Day, May 10th. Ooh, Lucius Anius Seneca. As long as you live, keep learning how to live. She's been snoozing for days. Now we're about to go to bed, and she's gonna be wide awake. Watch. So for Mother's Day, you got me a bracelet, and it has our Sweet Peas birthstone, which is Emerald, which is May. Sweet Peas actually, due date is a nearing. Yes. Um, and then James is October. I think there's actually a couple of October, but it's the pink opal. What have you got on you? You're, you're like peeling right there. I think I got sunburn. <laughs> on your stash? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then... On it, it's engraved with the date that our embryos were, um, well, that our... The date the eggs were the fertilized. The date that the eggs were fertilized, so basically the day that we became parents. Yeah. And so that's a way to honor all of our embryos, our embryo that didn't stick with us, and the embryos that we have waiting for us. So, it's super sweet. We had kind of, it's kind of like still a bittersweet day. Yeah, so it's like, I think it's a... Like, you know, pregnancy after loss is different. Mother's Day after loss is different. And Mother's Day after going through this journey, even if you were to take away the miscarriage, but to have this day with expecting a baby after so many years and so many, after so many Mother's Days and Father's Days of being like, we're gonna celebrate Mother's Day for you next year. We're gonna mm -hmm. celebrate Father's Day for you next year when it's like, right. we've heard that every single year. Right. And so, like, it's so years incredible now. to hear yeah. Happy Mother's Day and it be truthful because we are already parents. But it's a loaded day. But it's, yeah, it's loaded. And, like, I miss my mom. Like, <laughs> and, you know, like, it's hard being away from them and, you know, um, just the family in general. And we have a lot of family traditions and we've never been back for Mother's Day. And so it's just, like, it's hard to be apart. Yeah. And I'm a dog mom. This is my puppy. She's the best. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. And happy Mother's Day to, I mean. All the mothers, grandmothers, mothers to be, mothers who were, mothers step -moms, who weren't mothers. People, people who, who have. Who were moms to people who weren't their children. Yeah, or mom, like people who have strained relationships with their moms because it's a hard day. And grieving moms. There's so, I, I heard, recently I saw something that said, Mother is a verb because Ooh, it's... Ooh, I like that. Yeah, because it's like if you're nurturing, if you're strong, if you're, you take care of people, you know, like, it's it's the way you are, so. Good, Good night. Good We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, 
And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.